around nine ish, okay. but I go to bed usually around three, four. Yeah. Uh, first thing I do is drink two liters of water. He wakes up at 9 a.m. like this, drinks two liters of water before he jumps in an ice cold shower so he can get ready to punch the vape kids at his home gym for around 45 minutes before he travels to his rooftop to drink his morning coffee and to give his brother a speech about women. But given what women want out of a relationship... Women don't know what they want! Ah, here we go. All jokes aside, after watching this video you know the good things Andrew includes in his morning routine and all the do's and don'ts you should try in your next morning and why, backed by evidence and data. And of course the things Andrew isn't doing but that I've tried and work great for me, so they might as well for you. Now if you wonder who I am, I'm Jordan, seven figure entrepreneur, did over three million dollars in revenue and I don't need your money. I say this not to be arrogant but so that you know my intentions. I don't try to sell you anything, I don't have any product and that's why my only link in the description is free. Now, I put a lot of time into making this video. So let's start building the perfect morning routine. Number one, exercise. Um, yeah, so usually about 45 minutes, I, 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 I tear through a bunch of weights. I just go as crazy as I can, get that out of the way. So after Andrew wakes up, he does about a 45 minutes weightlifting session and sometimes cardio. You may ask, what is the best time of the day to work out? At least that was a question I had myself. They did a study for this and they studied 26 men for 12 weeks. And for the men in the group, because they also studied women, evening exercise lowered blood pressure. They were less tired afterwards and it stimulated fat oxidation, which in simple terms means they burn more fat in the evening. Whereas morning exercise had no benefits for men, only for the women who participated. I started analyzing the results myself as well, and it corresponds with how I personally feel after evening and morning workouts. As you can see here, the men in the study felt less fatigued after training in the evening, whereas in the morning they felt more tired after training. It was a significant difference. So my personal recommendation to you is to study yourself. Not just listen to me and rotate or this study, be a wolf among sheep and test what works for you. But then you ask, Jordan, I don't have any data. I don't have a smartwatch on Aura Ring like you. Then at least rate yourself from 1 to 10. For example, set an alarm each hour and ask yourself how focused you feel. Now I get it. If you don't want to do the hard work, then the takeaway is that evening exercise has more benefits amongst men. So don't include your main workout in your morning routine. Bunch of coffee bunch of coffee. Caffeine has many health benefits. Let's read a few. Better cognitive performance, memory, brain function. It has a therapeutic impact on pain and also inflammatory effects in the study I found. So it is good for a lot of things and it has little downsides. Therefore, I highly recommend to include this in your morning routine. Just wait drinking caffeine for at least 90 minutes after waking. Don't ingest caffeine for the first 90 minutes or so, like really push that off so that the adenosine and adenosine receptor interactions can all take place and dissipate. Then you drink caffeine. And what you'll find is that if normally you would crash around two or three in the afternoon, you don't experience that crash anymore mm. because the caffeine wears off, but there isn't a lot of adenosine there to bind the receptor. And replace coffee with yerba mate. It's healthier and my personal favorite, highly recommend it. Or I only eat dinner every day. I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat lunch. Yeah. And then from there, it's just completing tasks. Intermittent fasting. Besides all the studies that have been done, I want to ask you how you feel after you eat. Do you feel more or less energetic? I always get a dip and I know you have the same. So absolutely do not eat breakfast. Make intermittent fasting part of your routine. So you become more productive because you are more alert and focused. Me personally, I drink these cans of sparkling water. I tear through 5,000 cans a month. All I do is drink these. I must drink 30, 40 a day. I'm never without them near me. Ice cold sparkling water all the time. All the time. I tried to find studies on drinking hot water versus cold water because Andrew mentions he only drinks cold sparkling water. But there's not a lot of research done. Andrew doesn't drink doesn't drink still water because not because of any health benefits but because the only water i drink is sparkling water because sparkling water is for rich people because it's for rich people and that's the first thing i found out it's more expensive sparkling water could also be slightly better for your digestive system because it stimulates the production of gastric juices it can also help you feel fuller and indirectly uh, can lead to weight loss because you want to eat less 
So it could also heal, help with intermittent fasting if you find it difficult to intermittent fast in the beginning. Whereas still water causes less bloating, less burping, obviously, and could also be easier to drink. So no significant health benefits for sparkling water. Now he also mentions he always drinks cold water. And I'm curious about the differences between cold and hot water. I found out that warm drinks can help you fall asleep easier because it relaxes your digestive system. Cold water lowers your body temperature and therefore is best to drink during or after exercise. Whereas warm water increases your body temperature, which makes, which makes it good to drink in the morning to wake your body up. And after meals, because again, it helps with digestion. Now, if you don't, didn't know already, in order to fall asleep, your body temperature needs to lower a few degrees. So don't drink hot water right before you go to bed. Instead, give it at least an hour. So your body temperature can increase slightly and has enough time to decrease a few points below your baseline. So to summarize, drink cold water during and after exercise and all the other moments of the day, try to drink hot water. A hot water seems to be the better option. And try adding salt at least once a day to your glass of water. Salt is great. I mean, salt is something that brings volume, it keeps your blood volume up, keeps your brain feeling alert and focused. A lot of times people will feel jittery during the day. They'll think they'll have low blood sugar. Take a little bit, of, take a pinch of salt, put in some water, maybe a little lemon juice to kill the taste and drink that. You notice you're just rock solid. Why? You might have been low blood pressure or low sodium. Sometimes people can't focus and they are low sodium. I'm going to try this and I want to ask you something. What's the most important to you at the moment? Is it health? For example, my brother, he's fully focused on becoming a professional kickboxer. Is it maybe relationships? Are you in a season where you just want to date a lot? Or maybe is it wealth like Andrew? And then from there, it's just completing tasks. Just completing tasks. I'm focused mainly on wealth at the moment. And it's helpful to know so you can structure your morning routine so it supports your main goal. So to go back to the structure of your ideal morning routine. You want to drink caffeine. Just wait 90 minutes before you start drinking it. You want to fast for as long as possible. I currently eat at 5 p.m. and I highly recommend it. Make sure you get bright light as soon as possible after you woke up. And remember that sunlight is the best source. Tip, when I started um, um, working, when I start working in the morning, I turn on all the lights around me and it helps a lot. I also do a morning walk to get the natural sunlight. Drink water, ideally hot water, after you wake up to increase your core body temperature so your body wakes up. Check your calendar so you don't become late or miss appointments. What I do is I set alarms for the rest of the day. For example, one that I set is to start drinking caffeine at 1 p.m you really need to stop drinking caf caffeine early in the day but also others other reasons like i mentioned here this is how i recommend it i wake up by alarm i check my google calendar right away and i set alarms for everything i set one alarm for ordering my food so i receive my food on the time when i want to eat i set one alarm for the time block I've already said to communicate with my team on Slack, Notion, ClickUp, so I can turn off all notifications throughout the day and I just have that period to communicate with them. Then depending on the day, I set multiple alarms for meetings and other events. And this is so effective for me because it allows me to lose track of time because I know an alarm will go off when I have the event, when it needs to go off. And it allows me to get into the flow state flow state so avoid distractions and set alarms to get back to those distractions later in the day when you want to it's a great tip highly recommend it this also helps you avoid dopamine in the morning which is very bad especially in the morning when you because it increases your baseline dopamine and it makes it it makes the hard work even more difficult so really avoid all those notifications in the morning because they increase your dopamine Avoid making decisions. Now, not the high value ones because they're great to make in the morning, but the non-important decisions like choosing your clothes, for example. Get rid of those or make sure you already did them the night before. Avoid energy draining tasks and decisions early in the day when you need your energy the most. 
And then I have two ideas you can try out. I always had the belief that I should educate myself as much as possible when I get the chance. So, for example, when I brush my teeth, I listen to podcasts. Now, if you're like me, I highly recommend you try to avoid any distractions, even podcasts, in your next morning and see how it helps you focus better. I notice myself, silence helps me focus better in the morning on the work that I want to do. Now, I also do a morning walk, as I already mentioned, right after I wake up to increase my core body temperature and especially to get the natural sun sunlight. The main benefit of that that I noticed is my mood is a lot better. But if you don't, then I suggest you start with the work 60 seconds after waking. It's an idea that you can try out. Why? Because your brain waves are in the most optimal frequency to get into the flow states right after you wake up, which in basic terms, it means that you can get into that hyper-focused feeling when you are losing track of time. And that's a wrap for this video. Remember, start living your life like it is a documentary, because it is. Someone is just not filming you yet. Subscribe for more videos like this in your YouTube feed.